Welcome back everyone to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I actually started recording but already, but I I mean started playing already before hitting record, but oh well. We unlocked Trend last time, a console who is leading a convincing colony for pirate motif. But gave up on the consoles and Mobius a long time ago. In this one, we are going to, in this episode, we are going to be doing a couple things, hopefully. More than a couple things, hopefully. Depending on my energy and who stops by and whatever. Um, we are going to first unlock the other hero that's available in this area. Her name is Fiona, so you lease an Agnes colony. Um, and then we'll really start the prison break-in process quickly. But we'll not get through all that tonight because it is 6.30, approximately 6.30, a little bit after 6.30. It's 6.37 where I live. And, um, by the time I get done with all that stuff, I think, yeah, this is where I think I want to go. No, that is part of the mission. So, you know what? I might have to put that aside. No. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. I new shoals. I th think where I want to go. Actually, you know what? I did listen to the last episode, and this is way too quiet, so I'm going to boost it. There we go. Not, like, at max volume, but enough to where it doesn't blow out your eardrums. My voice probably is blowing out your eardrums, though, so you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to lower the don't go after the air drop yet. Might take me a minute to find you know, a tiny place. It's probably me that I'm looking for. Yo! I'm hungry! This place next, Jeff. Yeah? Yeah, this is where it is. I'm pretty confident. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mid Rose Rosary. Rock Beach. I'm actually going to change my characters because uh, there's another um. So I got a whacker. I can do that. So you haven't. I'll take the offensive then. I'll heal you right up. Yeah, I think I want that. Why did I see the upgrade? up I heard something what is it Mimi <sighs> stay with me we'll patch you right up I have to help everyone <sighs> stop moving you don't understand. I promised them. Said I'd keep them safe. If I'm the only one that survives, then it's all been for nothing. I have to go. Oi, don't be a clod. Huh? I'm... I'm not. Oh, what? You're really serious then? 
How are you going to save anyone when you can barely stand yourself? You got a death wish or something? Let's break it down. As I see it, you have two options here. Either listen to you us can or go die. And try to save them by yourself, or you can let us pitch in. Which one of those strikes you as the better idea, eh? You, you want to help me? I don't know. That depends. But I wouldn't be in such a hurry to throw my life away. Why are they threatening her? It Being like ready to die her. and actively trying to get yourself killed are two very different things. It's just a quick patch up, but it should help you think straight. Sorry about Lance and his threatening display of idiocy. What's threatening? You missed the point. I did not miss the... Oh. Look, you can relax. We're all friends here. Would you mind telling us what's going on? Yeah, okay. There was a Cavesi raid. There was no time. I had to cause a diversion, so I leapt in without a second thought. After that, it's... it's all a blur. That was pretty reckless of you. Remind Riku of someone Riku know? Oh. Whatever the case may be, we had best hurry. Judging by the situation, your allies were likely forced apart and are now fighting alone. <sighs> it really sounds like it would help to have some numbers on your side, no? Yeah. For now, let's take the best course of action we can. We can hash out the details later. The best... course? <sighs> My name is Fiona. I am the commander of Colony Mew. I know this might be a lot to ask, seeing as we've just met. But please, lend me your strength. I need to save my people. Fiona has to play the party. Transparent dreams. We got new folks on the map. Hold on, everyone. I'm on my way. New colonies on the grid. Good. Summer. I'm so sorry. He shouldn't have been alone. Let's send her on. Her voice deserves to be heard. All right. Be over like that. They seem a little. No more running. Eyes over here. Time to get. Stop in your face. Hit him full. I'm a counter. Deflection. Overfall. I just want to point out, Fiona's like super OP. It's ridiculous. Um, actually, you you want me to leave? I'll do my best. Yeah. Okay. Don't try to stop us. You can be sure I'll do my part. 
Everyone safe. It must have hurt so much. Fiona, leave the rest to us. Yes. Thank you. Time to do the right thing, eh? Are you all right? Crying isn't going to change anything. Noah, Mio, would you mind taking care of everyone? I guess this is fate too, huh? That would be funny if I just like left them there. <laughs> that would be such a dick move. Inside. This should prove useful later. We should take good care of that. This is something decent, right? <laughs> I don't want to lose them. Oh, Fiona. Well, this was entertaining. Quite a contest. <sighs> Indeed. And it ended with your loss. Irma! What's hit you? Sorry. How's everyone? Fiona! Oh, Fifi, I was so worried about you. Oh my god, these are... We're surrounded. And pretty these badly are, depleted. These are definitely British, Irish, whatever accent. <sighs> Men, aim for that banner. It's their commander, Fiona. Dream on, mother! We should go. All of us, yes. 
We didn't ask for these outsiders. This is still our fight. But the wounded... Ah, oh, it's nothing. We're good. Yeah, we're fine. Still fighting fit. Relax, Fifi. You worry far too much. In Colony Mew, we fight as one. Right, folks? You guys... Trust your crew. Trust yourself. Trust in victory. All hearts as one. We'll make it together. Yeah! Retreat! Retreat! We made it. Fiona! Fifi! Irma! All of you! You pulled through! Thank you! Come on now, of course we did! We made a promise, right? Come what may, we'll always be together. Lance! Everybody! Thank you so much for saving our lives! Whoa! All right. Steady on. We're not deaf. You were just gonna walk away. I couldn't let you go without a proper thank you. Even if... Even if you're Ouroboros, the betrayers... Hang on. No, no. No need to explain. You're our saviors. That's right. You even healed our wounded. Yeah, you don't look like baddies to me. Exactly. And I noticed that when we were fighting side by side, you guys all trust one another. That's why. You've made up your mind, have you, Fiona? Yeah. That's why... I want to try trusting, too. I want to destroy our flame clock. Would you mind doing us this one last favor? Hmm? It's hardly a problem for us, but why the sudden request? We heard about a liberated colony from Nopon travelers. That's what got me thinking. There should be more to life than spending it fighting all the time. Being ready to die? and actively trying to get yourself killed are two very different things. Sounds to me like you've been mulling it over. This has to change. I want to change myself. And I want to change the way things are. <laughs> Good on you. Looks like you got it figured out. You'll... You'll trust me. <laughs> That's the same look you gave us when we first met. You'll do anything to protect your friends, won't you? <laughs> All right, then. Let's make tracks for Colony Mew. 
That is, if she didn't still seem to be having second thoughts. Care to tell us why? Oh, you noticed? Well, that makes things easier. There are two major stumbling blocks. The first is that you'll have to somehow outwit the console. And second, that only that console knows the location of the flame clock under discussion. Huh? How can you not know? The one you see right now? That's just a fake. Fake? How's that then? Oh, but the console isn't here right now. This might be the right time to act. Fiona, this isn't the place to be having this conversation. Ah, right. Sorry. In any case, let's talk details at the colony. Our people are on their last legs. We'll need time to get back to strength. Um, please, take this. Circle of Winston. I'm happy you were able to send everyone on their way. It really helped me to be a little more positive. Thank you. Sorry about all the urgent requests. We'll be waiting for you at Colony Mew. Don't keep us waiting too long. Good to add more names. It's another thing to see it for Colony yourself, Mew. Good to add more names. This is one of the bigger, like, Colony... Basically, I mean, in terms of like unlocking like locations and, and stuff. I see some relations have changed. Beds of woes and worries? Let's say that. They kept growing over time, and before we knew it, we had this. It's beautiful, but to think of all the departed. Standing still spells death. If we can't achieve victory, there will be no tomorrow. But still, we didn't want to forget that they were all here once. So that's why you're getting all teary-eyed. What? N no. It's just the pollen. It doesn't take much to get Commander Boohoo here going. Irma? Looks like you've taken a lot on your shoulders. Doesn't it weigh you down? A little. I just wish I wasn't such a weakling. You can put the burden down whenever you want, you know. You can still choose to keep things the same as always. I wouldn't think any less of you if you did. Neither would anyone else here. I love you for saying that, Irma. Just like I love everyone here, and Colony Mew, where I met you all. And ever since I realized that, tomorrow stopped looking so dark. And that's exactly why I can't run away from my responsibility. I get it. Whatever happens, I trust in you. And I trust you, too. Fiona! Irma! All the squad leaders have assembled. We can start the meeting at your convenience. Understood. I'll be right there. Oh, but before that, Fifi... Tickle ambush! Kitchi kitchi <laughs> Fifi, get it all out of you. 
Yep, now she's back to herself. We're waiting in the square. Why? I'll get you back, you'll see. <laughs> Run away! It's hard to imagine that the console will make it easy for us with the flame clock. Someone will surely pay for this with their life. Again. Yeah, probably. Please, do whatever you can to make sure it's not Fiona. Good to add more names. I see some relations have changed. Okay. Gaga! It's a pretty strong coin clock. Open. Hey, can I get a hand here? On it. And there. I hope we can make use of this. These are worth a bit, right? We should take good care of that. gonna do it now those Gavessi dudes are still loitering around who's loitering again god he's huge sounded like someone was having a bit of a whinge we all good here we're great right tallow uh, right chief no whinge in here say again N nothing to say really huh i'll take your word for it time is of the essence sorry to rush but can we get straight to the point what should we talk about first? The fake, fake flame clock. You said the colony's flame clock was a fake. Wow, pretty blunt, huh? Honestly, we don't really know any more beyond the fact that it's a fake. Since we never use it anyway, yeah? When it's close to running dry, we get orders from the console to go out and fight. Well, what is it for then? Do you think maybe there's some weird advantage to it? Like, maybe the colony's rank is really high, but it makes it look lower to get enemies to underestimate us. Or, or the exact opposite. Actually, we're bottom tier, but it looks a lot higher to intimidate people. Oh yeah, it could be that. Well, your actual strength doesn't change, so it'd be pretty obvious once you get down to it. And also, supplies from the castle are allocated based on rank. Could we see your supplies? That would give us a good idea of where you fall, rank-wise. Nico's on warehouse detail. And I'm Nico. I'll get things ready for your inspection. You said nobody knows where... How are we supposed to... Yeah, I don't question. suppose we could just... ask the console? <sighs> oh, come on! Why the huge sigh? I was just asking. Someone had to ask. Well, it has to be somewhere, or the status quo wouldn't be maintained. If you fight, the flame clock must fill up. Suppose you were to harvest a large pool of life in a short time. Oh, 
it would flow into the real clock. I'd like to investigate any large-scale combat engagements you may have experienced. If we're lucky, someone may have witnessed some signs of the flame clock's operation. Can we take a look into your past battle records? Of course. I'll have them delivered to you. If the current flame clock is fake, what happens when your rank goes up? As far as I know, I don't think that's ever happened. Wait, you're joking. You've always been on the same level. Who are they, Gertrude? That's me. Heard something from the console one time. She said to tough it out and do exactly as instructed, and everything would be all right. Oh? I was told something else. People only see what they want to see, I think it was. Uh, meaning? Meaning nobody actually wants to see how much is left on their clock, I guess. Well, yeah. I mean, if you knew, you'd just stress out over it constantly. A little more stressing wouldn't go amiss in your case, Tallow, you turkin head. What? Why do you got to call me names? Just cause. Wow. Well, we don't know exactly what the console intended. But she must have had something in mind to go to these lengths rigging the contraption. You said the console was away. Do you know how long for... Tell you bluntly, we don't know either. She's always disappearing, going off on one special mission or another. In that case, she could be back at any time. I'm sorry that the answer isn't very useful. This all sounds like kind of a big deal. It doesn't bother you. It's nothing special. We don't normally talk much about it. She just sends us down broad stroke orders, like, go defeat those guys, send a team to this location. Yeah, the only time she spoke normally was that one time, wasn't it? You know, the time when Fiona became commander. Yuck, do we have to talk about that? About what? When the previous commander died, Fiona clung to the consul's knees. Started saying that the way we fought was making everyone miserable. Yeah, it turned into a whole, like, debate. Until the consul was like, fine then, you try and change it. And made Fiona the commander. What? Just like that? I know, it was a twisted kind of punishment. But now I've got everyone else tangled up in this mess. Whatever. We know you just want the best for us, Fifi. That's why you get yourself in such tizzy. And that's why we want to support you in turn. You're good, Fiona. Better than you know. Hmm. Thanks, guys. Punishing someone with a promotion? That's so bizarre. So, this whole clock-breaking thing's kind of a sudden development, yeah? I wanted to ask how you lot feel about all this. We know how Fiona feels, but are you all okay with what we're about to do? Honestly, I just want Fiona to be able to relax, like not have to carry all this responsibility. That's so kind of you. Even if we do this, people will still die. Yeah, but if they do, it will be because of their own failure. That's not the same. She carries the banner for us, and it's because of us that it's so heavy. But that weight's also the momentum that keeps her moving forward. I don't want us doing anything that could sully the purity of Fiona's conscience. All right, all right. Let's all take some deep breaths. We're all friends here. Keep it civil. I'm happy that you're so concerned for me. Thank you. Well, I reckon things will work out one way or another. I mean, come on. You've got us on your side. Yeah, you tell him, Lance. No one wants to lose their mates. Just don't lose track of what matters, yeah? I think we've more or less heard all we need. I yeah, my I think so too. Up. It's time to get to work. Let's check out the loose threads we've uncovered. We should investigate the supplies in the warehouse and the colony's battle record date. 
I'll make sure everyone gives you their... We'll also try looking... If anything turns up. Good to add more names. Some relations have changed. I see some relations have changed. I wouldn't like to say like off, but there's definitely like a different feel to this colony. The um cost is not interesting news. Anything. I see some relations have changed. Better make sure we're well rested. Where should I start? Okay, let's um mince word. Colin Mu is weird. This is why you can't make friends. <laughs> I've looked into their combat records. For the past few years, there have been large-scale combat engagements involving Colin and Mew. That is, in and of itself, it's understandable, but... but you can't do the, that investigation sort of thing thought of earlier, right? Back to the drawing board, then. Well, perhaps. What really caught my eye was the wastelessness, so to speak. Without any big win and losses, not only, not only were there no large swings, the flame clock total. There was also no interruption to colony supply chain over the long term. So, what's that prove? Is that that the only other defending wells in themselves? I gotta say, that's not really in the impression I got of this place at first, first glance. I've heard them chatting, they don't seem to talk a whole lot of training or strategy. When you think about the personnel turnover, you saw the flower garden, notice how they notice how young they all are? Add to the constant and periods of action. Ignoring for the sake of argument the insecure environment, the colony's military results couldn't re really afford such a stability. Come to think of it, didn't VP say the colony's ranks stayed the same? Right, and the flint clock issue is odd as well. I couldn't stop wondering what the point of the deception was. We said we thought it could be full enemies, but... The soldiers here aren't given information, not being manipulated, just flat up not being supplied. The other and the other seems to be bothered by it, but I think in the real world, won't do them any real favors. Right, and the two sides, that's the Fiona and the others that affect. What was that Talos said? Something about not stressing all the time? Hold, back to stuff up. You're not saying the people the council wanted to see, was it the rest of them was calling Mew all along? There's one more thing that bothers me, looking at Fiona and the others, didn't they remind you of someone? You don't believe in anything beyond what they can see in the moment, still thinking that fighting is everything. Like we did way back when. Right, so they're occupied with the reality put in front of them, but they don't think of anything beyond that horizon. You call any muse case, they don't seem much interested in anything apart from the banner that Fiona carries. It's true that, as soon as it's about Fiona, they all get super passionate. You think they're still being used? No, it's not a question of being used or otherwise. I'd imagine we're also only seeing what we want to see. So that's why Fiona was appointed manager. Because if you saw her hiding whatever could be inconvenient. If the console had to go to such lengths to buy this, there can only be one reason. The console is betraying Colony Mule. The bravery interrupted must have been doing their doing as well. And we gotta tell Pee, -Pee right away. Oh, I should probably eat. Right then, should we get a move on? Oh no, what's going on? It's like back at Colony 4. Another Mobius messing with us. Crap! Yeah, exactly. Crap! Tello? Hey, what 
What's wrong with you? Sorry about this, bud. Tallow! Don't worry. He'll be all right. But now... Oh, it's Team Wolf, too. That, um... That, that, that the, um, Connie had. Muse console. It was you, wasn't it? Reality, right? It's just so dull. That's why nobody pays it any mind. They'd rather chase pretty I'm dreams. I'm guessing Irma's the console. Yep. You really should have just stayed dreaming. <gasps> Why would you do something like this? When someone close to you gets hurt, you want to become stronger for them. That desire and sadness, they make for a quality flame. Is that why you arranged the attack? Conspired with Keves, sacrificed all those lives! Without some hardship, humans don't come together. It was just the same with you. Cut the crap! How could you put Fiona through this? I know perfectly well what I did! She never once gave up. She wouldn't let the dream be all there was. That purity of purpose. It lifted everybody up. The need to support one another. She taught me that as well. <sighs> oh, well, ain't that nice? Learn this! What are you... Oh, she wants to just take her out one on one. Oh, no, no. Even if she's bad. No. She's still my friend. Fiona. She doesn't know. Consoles are psychotic. <laughs> Fiona, Lance. Stand up. You can do better than this. Please, get up! You'll do your best for the others, won't you? You'll do all that you can, and then some. Stop it! I'll fight along with you if you want. I'll fight by your side against whatever it is that's making you sad, Irma. So please, stop calling it a dream. Don't disappoint me like that! You've already made your choice. You chose what you wanted to see, and freely... Just how heavy is that banner? How many lives do you carry? Please! All of their hopes. You did say you'd shoulder them, didn't you? You said you'd never break up. You said we'd be together! Forever! Crying about it won't change the truth. The fact is, your friends are dead, and I'm the one who killed them! Jeez, what a heal. Oh! -ho -ho! Okay, 
I want to take out these walls. That didn't cause false bolts. Um, I'm right on the theory that um, this is not. Oh, yeah.
Okay, yeah. Uh, Oh, there's a real flame clock. Well, I see some relations have changed. So this is where the flame clock was. How did we never see it before? Look, I'm not great with words, but I wanted to say, I'm sure she was a complicated person too. I'll never forgive what Irma did. I know I can never, ever forgive her. But if I'd never met her, I wouldn't be who I am today. She's taught me a lot as well. Just... just promise you won't suffer alone, all right? If things get too much to bear, you can always talk to me. Hello. If you need to grumble or swear or call someone names, I'm your man. I'll get rid of all your worries. You can count on this turkin head, okay? <laughs> 
same old tallow? She woke me up, you know. Irma did. Made me watch you. I couldn't move, but I followed every word you said. Perhaps she didn't want you to be alone. But then, why? Why do something like that? I'm supposed to be the turkin head, not Irma. I... I want to know about these Mobius people. I have to know what Irma was thinking. Will you let me fight by your side still? No reason to say no. You're already our friend, Fifi. Don't ever forget how you're feeling right now. I think it'll keep you strong. Yeah. I won't. Not ever. Here we go! Level increase. Oh, level four. Oh boy. I'll do my very best. Oh no. Fire. Oh no. Random parts. The healer that applies random buff to allies and strength from the whole party of arts. I see some relations have changed. I'm still with the guests. They're probably going like, Why are we doing so many extra stops? Wonder what's inside. This should prove useful later. We should take good care of that. Okay, time to go to the quest. Main quest line. Um, I got some message in a second. Ship travels with us if we fast travel, so. Whoa! Got a rare doodah right here! Find a Rithia relay base here, right? The security's tight. It'd be a bad idea to approach from the front. It's another thing to see it for yourself, eh? Oh, we, keep, we have to go over. <laughs> Some poor soul got his ass beat too. Or their ass beat, I'm sorry.
that dude. Yeah, whoa. I'm gonna have to go in the front. Gameplay. <laughs> To make sure we're well rested. There's a fresh port in the endeavor. I definitely feel stronger.
That's how it's done. I need to cook. That's for sure. I could lift mountains. Hey, want to see me try? Save, just to be safe. It's good to keep a record. We need quite there we go. Nice and clean. Time's a wasted. We're just going to bust in the front door. We're like a bazillion levels higher. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. Yeah, obviously. Did you not hear me blow my loop? You're not helping them? That was pretty much what I expected. I'd say we were moving in sync. Right, Tile? Oh, I can't sneak around. Three. Around. Well, visitors. Very attentive. Oh, they Guys, that's the best part of this. Yeah. <laughs> 
Overkill! Another wave coming up. Yep. Oops, they found us. Crash out! Uppercut! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
upper hand. Oops, they found us. Crash out! Oh, no, okay, glad you're not highly leveled. Thank God. Put in a blue. Enemy. Jeez, whatever. And I was the MVP. You were all thinking it. <sighs> Bloody thing shut. Won't be getting past here. There must be a key somewhere. Let's find it. Drop it, yeah? Oh my god. There was a secret. Shall we deal with this? God fucking damn it. I just want to stick it to a chair.
unstoppable with you around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. This is something decent, right? Oops, they found us.
these Acnean clods are there? Oh, well, it is an enemy military facility. Maybe we really should have looked for a better route. Noble Torn! No more Dust. So, they had the upper hand. Great. I don't know how you do it, Kyle. Going in. I'm going to get in the way of it. Cross impact. This is what we're made for. Yeah. 
finally. Fuck off! Let me check. Just up here. Can pass through here. Let's use this. Okay. Sorry for the language I got mad. Oh, this is what we were after. Don't you go losing that. There we go. All right, we made it to a Rethnia relay base in one piece. What now? The mission proceeds as planned. Look for info that might relate to the prison camp. Oh no, no, fuck me. <laughs> The minute I saw the red, I'm going like, fuck me, I forgot about this part.
Oh, that's good enough to guess. Farmer. I'm getting the hang of this. This is something decent, right? They're on us. Orders? Crash out! Full rush! Eyes over here! Nice move, child! It means there were no holes in my strategy. Not liking the look of that sky. How? We are inside. I don't want to do this. But you're in a <laughs> way. Sometimes, 
my bout. They had the upper hand. Hey, this one means business. Uppercut slash! A lot of battling tonight. Can we all work to keep a record. <sighs> so much to There it is! Akian Military Info Terminal! <laughs> You didn't charge off on your own. Huh. 
bad. Not bad at all. I've sent the data to your irises. Give it a look over for me. What's this? A map of the prison camp? If we can find a good insertion point, it'll take us to the rest of the way. You're right, but for that, we'll need a bit more information still. There were supposed to be agony and forces on the other island, right? Right? Let's see if we can find there as well. Corn Island, I think, Kasami said. Right, let's investigate Corn Island then. Going to take a little bit of a break. I need to get up, loosen myself up, that kind of thing. And we're going to be right back. And we are back. Okay, let's do the second part of this quest. Looks like it might be across the map. Maybe it doesn't take too long. This must be Corn Island, the place Kasame told us about. We'll sneak around the island and head for the opposite side. That'll be where Agnians keep the transport.
Thank God I'm at a high enough level so I don't have to fight a bunch of things again. We don't want to be found by the Agnians. Okay, now, how do we get closer to Paulina? Well, that's all that! Please, waffles! We got found. No, 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 no. 
I maybe press that a bit too early. I should have used, used um, last bird, but oh well. There we go. What did you think would happen? No more enemies? Good, let's check inside the ship. I think some of us just stand guard outside. Alright, I'll be the lookout. Me too! So, Ouroboros does training as well, huh? You're... Uh... Shania. Shania Reed. She was one that greeted us About all your rescue from mission. Monica. Gondor and I are friends from the crib. I don't know that word, crib. Does it mean you've known each other for a while? I guess you don't use that expression, huh? Why even use words? Feels like we're just talking at cross purposes. Uh, sorry about that. <sighs> know what? Forget it. Well? Gonna answer my question? You mean about training? Yeah. That's the thing. Mimi and the others are doing their best. I need to as well. Anything to help me get an edge. So... Ah. Mimi, is it? That's what you call her. The one with the long ears. Yeah. We've always been in the same colony. Your friends. That might be saying a lot. She's kind of like my role model. She's strong, kind, mega dependable. You're... Senna, right? Huh? Oh! It's... 
You are... I'm Mio, third term. We haven't met before, have we? Oh, I'm sorry. Your name totally slipped my mind. But I, I don't think we've talked before. Uh, um... You know, I was just looking for a training partner. For the trial? I like to think I'm pretty quick on my feet, but... I'm not really strong enough. Our captain said you would make a good addition, and that you're super strong. <laughs> He's exaggerating. I'm totally average. Totally. Wanna try? Teaming up? With you? You sure? I'm a nobody. Sure, I'm sure. I'm literally asking you right now. It's your choice. Well, if you really don't mind, sure. Really? Golden? We're a team then. Mm, thank you. Role model. <laughs> She's the one who's kept me going. I wouldn't be here otherwise. And after meeting you guys, now I understand what life's really all about. A part of nature's cycle. I'd never even thought about it before, but it's pretty amazing, huh? How is it natural? Huh? Why should we swing our blades around without a hope of winning? Better to die and be born again inside their cycle. Just pulling your leg. Caught you off guard? <laughs> well, yeah, you kinda did. <laughs> How'd you expect me to react to that? <laughs> hey. Do you always work so hard for approval? That fun? Huh? You can tell? That's right. Because we're just the same. Hmm. <sighs> Has she had any, like, voice lines to this point? I can't remember if she does. Yes, he has. Not much, but yes, he has. Last back to when she recovered. Benham's clothing. Come on now. Be true to yourself. That's console X. Looks like we might have a traitor in our mess. Hey, uh, Mimi? What's up? Speak to me. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, it's a uh, lovely weather we're having. I don't know, I'd say lovely, bit overcast. <laughs> oh, y you're right, <laughs> silly clouds. Guess I had my head in him. <laughs> huh? Huh. What was that about?
So what's our loot from Balena look like? Survey sketch of the Agri Castle Barbican? Now we're talking. We've got a good deal of info now. Let's go back to Sami and fit this log home. Let me fast travel there, so. What to buy? The music is so serene. Serene. That's what I was thinking. Could not remember. What's inside? Let's make the most of our break, guys. Could you all come round for a second? Okay, tell me what you know. Let me show you what Toya and I got from analyzing the maps. First, about infiltrating the island itself. It appears there are natural caverns directly underneath the Agnes Castle. If we break through one of the walls and climb the cliffs, we can avoid most of the guards. There should be even less chance for us to get caught if we do it under cover of darkness. I do even remember a little inlet near Hike Cove. Higgs Cove. Could, it could be a good place to wait for nightfall. Once we ascend into the cliffside, we can approach the camp from the back. Notice the air vents? I expect one of those is our way in. That's quite a drop. Indeed, they won't be in use for extra trains, so those ID devices are certainly going to be a help. Well, if they're not in your spot, you'll all be rounded up in seconds. So as soon as we get into the prison, now that we're going to be supposed to run in. See how the beds also connect to the central cell block? It's going to be pretty easy for you to mingle when the prisoners are all in one place for morning assembly. After that, you can move about in the open comments you'd like. As long as you've got an ID device, they won't suspect a thing. Once you're inside, Make, you should make contact with Gondor as soon as possible. I prepared a few possible plans for action when you are ready to leave the camp. You need to change plans and switch demands. Everyone needs to play the part. If you can get out quietly, head for Paltulia Pal Bay where you want to do Kasame. The top priority is bringing out Gondor. Blast the Western Gate off if you must. 
Well, it seems like we got a plan in place. We two Roger that. When preparations ready, we take Boundary to hike the cave. They could probably work on air leaks. There's a soldier I was looking for. You found power. You found power. You found power. You found power. Doing well tonight. I am. Heidi Hyde spot. Why am I calling it that? I don't know.
I disembarked from the wrong place. Let's take the opportunity to rest, then proceed with the infiltration. Better make sure we're well rested. Rest. Um, <sighs> are we gonna be I was all getting right? kind of sleepy? You can leave at any time. Why did it say that earlier? <laughs> Let's get on with it then. Got my identification device on. Once we're inside the prison, we won't be able to come back out for a while. We won't be able to come back out again for a while. We must be absolutely sure that we're ready for anything. Yes. Let's go. Micah saying to see the last summer won't be able to join the party for a while. It's massive. That's the Agnian Castle. And it's floating. Seen it before, Mia? Nope. First time for me, too. Like you guys. We never got any special training. Uh, if our intel's right, we ought to find a cave if we circle along anti-clockwise. Is that the one that then leads to the ventilation ducts in the camp? Yeah, that's right. Quickly. We need to get in before it gets light. Julia Bay. The prison break begins. So there really was a cave here. We'll have to find somewhere where the walls look thin. Let's make the most of our break, guys. I definitely feel stronger. Now 
I'd say we were moving in sync. Right, Kyle? I'll yum, 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 yum. Yeah, that's a uh, thin wall. I think this is the place. If we break through this wall, we can get outside, right? All right, Senna, we're up. Got it, I'm with you. First Kevin's castle, now Agnes' castle. Guess it had to happen eventually. Down with the monarchy. Watch your footing, guys. Watch your footing, guys. Yeah, that's where we're supposed to bust into. Over here! Better give it a good once over. Work with me. Looks like there's no turning back after this. Well, on we go then. Well, definitely looks bleak. The Garte Prison Camp. Nothing reprobates. Beautiful morning today. If only I could appreciate. Wow. Didn't get much sleep. Do you know why? Because the eclipse draws ever nearer. And there's that too. How many of you are getting made an example of and hopes rest this time? I can hardly contain myself thinking about it. Couldn't catch a wink of sleep last night. Me? Nutty snuffer. He's really enjoying this. Yet, nonetheless, the show must go on in order to unite our hearts and minds to keep the world in balance and perfect harmony. This will be your final resting place. So why not live a little while you still have some body to enjoy it with? <laughs> I'll give him something to enjoy. What term is he even? It's not like he'll have that much longer than them to live. Ah, oh, bollocks. It's okay. I'm not bothered. I hate people like that. Is this about the right place? I can't tell from the data we've pulled. We'll have to check each route systematically. Two guards probably should just force their way through, eh? Agreed, let's look for another place.
This is a warehouse of some kind. Burn your smags, that's what it is. What do you think, Noah? There are no guards, so, so you should be able to see. You're right, it seems safe enough. Let's get down from here. Hold up. Shouldn't we be taking off our eye patches? As far as I can tell, being held in here don't have them on. Makes sense. Muniori has her off. <laughs> Give it a good once over. Location discovered. Food storage. We've made it inside. Now we have to find this Gondor customer. Oh, I'm sure they're going to be easy to find, probably. Gondor. Oh, she's probably Gondor. Yeah, she is. Is that Gondor? I asked you a question. Give me an answer, fresh fish. Huh? Huh? Cut the crap. Any lights on in there, you dead brain? Hold on. Is Gondor a little kid? Is Gondor a what? Finish your damn sentence. What? My name? You got a problem with it? So she's Gondor. Bitch queen. She must have thought she was being funny. <laughs> oh. oh! So you agree, do you? No, no, no. I, I, it wasn't. I didn't mean. Ah. Oh, back to a little punch. Go die in a ditch, you turd. Yikes. Never thought I'd hear someone top Uni's sweary mouth. Oh, Don't no, you yeah, go I'm copy her, Senna. Nah, not my style. Oh, wow. Ways to talk trash about one of your friends. So, where was I? Think it was about why they're here. Oh, right. That. So, what's the idea, sweetheart? Now she's playing nice? You're Gondor. What's it to you? Monica from the city. She told us about you. She said you'd know where the queens are. So you are the bitch queen's lapdogs? Please tell us what you know. We have good reason to meet with them. To bring peace. And to set the world to rights. This shit again? What? I'm fed up with hearing that sanctimonious odd and crap. So you aren't gonna help us out then? If you're trying to kill the now, then you can just forget it. Um, kill the now? Did I bloody stutter? Oh, you just don't get it. Maybe this'll hammer it home. Eggy, oggy. Mom? At your command. Oh, boy. Give this lot of bruising and dump him in the trash. Mom, my pleasure. Oh, we're gonna have a brawl, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
And now we're gonna have to team up. Jokes. Of course she does. She's a pro. That's Monica's daughter for you. Huh? Daughter? You mean that she was born from Monica? Like that baby we saw? That's about the size of it. Plus, the head Ouroboros candidate. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
that too. You don't say. It all adds up now. Oi! What are you prattling on about? You got something to say? Say it to my face. We do. Go on then. Why are we fighting each other? It's so pointless. Piss off. No, it's not. Why? Because you dads haven't figured it out. About killing the now? Yeah. Then stop holding out and just tell us. <laughs> Set the world to rights, you said. Yeah, I did. Not sure if you're just being self-righteous, but take a look around. Think about how many lives it's cost. Running after that shit already. <sighs> all right, that's enough. On your knees now, all of you. Hands behind your head. Disobey me, you'll get time in solitary. Change of plan. Yeah. Sheathe your blades now. Let's just do as he says, okay? <laughs> okay, that's actually is kind of cute from Riku and Riku and Manana. Okay, got it. Stay safe when you're in two. Chance and the others all in the same cell. It's like, if you didn't know stuff coming in from the outside, I think you call step one is plan of success. I wonder how we're supposed to get with Gun supposed to get Gunner to work with us. Yeah. Well, she said we were trying to kill him now, so I'm like, might sanction Yeah, what the spark does that mean to me? I have no idea. I think I want to ask Gondor about it. There's lots to talk about. Talk? Dude, I'm not looking forward to raising a merry ruckus just to get out. It does, does seem not strictly necessary. What do you mean? You're new around here, eh? You don't stir yourself in the scrub, you know. They even feed us? Well, now, I seem to have more freedom than you see soon here. Look for Gondor. Unfortunately, oh, this is what we're going to have. Taking a break? So, we're going to go ahead and save. And we'll continue this. It's good to keep a record. I don't know when. <laughs> um, because I might take next Friday off. We might stream this next Saturday. And Monday. On my on Twitch, we are going to stream Jackbox for my birthday. So I appreciate you all stopping by and hanging out, that kind of thing. It's in the description below, but 100 percent appreciate it. Um, yeah, thank you all for coming in. I, we're we're heading towards possibly my favorite part of the game. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, for you watching YouTube, thank you for coming in. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.